What's up guys? It's Lauren from Mattress Nerd, your favorite editor and certified sleep science coach. Today I brought the Casper Wave Hybrid Snow into our nerd lab. I'm going to run it through a series of geeky tests to help you determine if it's the best mattress for you. But first, head on over to mattressnerd.com where we have a ton of in-depth, unbiased mattress and bedding reviews, plus some exclusive coupons on the Casper mattresses. But you can also find those in the description below. Stick with me to the end of the video and I'll be answering your FAQs. Hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Pioneers only cared about one thing and one thing only, construction. Taking an in-depth look at a bed's construction is what separates the mattress nerds from the average mattress shopper because construction informs how well this bed is going to perform. And because I want to make the Pioneers proud today, I hacked into the Casper Wave Hybrid Snow to get a good look at the layers and how they perform. But don't try this at home, you will void your warranty. Now moving on, this mattress is 13 inches tall and is made with a combination of foam and coils. Starting with the cover, it is made with a material called phase change material, which essentially just makes this mattress cool to the touch. Now starting with this top layer, it is infused with gel foam to keep you cool, plus it has these little breathable air holes poked through to help with breathability. Now here we also have some more breathable foam that is used with something the brand calls six heat delete bands, essentially meaning that it keeps you cooler at night. Now here we have another breathable layer of foam, but it also features zoned support, which means that the foam is softer at your head and your feet, but firmer in the middle for perfect spinal alignment. And now under here, we continue that zone support, but also contribute gel pods that help keep your back supported. Now I've said the word support a lot, but here we have the primary support layer, pocketed coils behind this reinforced foam that add breathability, durability, and bounce to your mattress. Mattress Nerd, we rate firmness on a scale of 1 to 10, where 1 is softer than a bed of freshly fallen snow, and 10 is firmer than sleeping on a bed of icicles. Whew, it got cold in here. Now, the Gasper Wave Hybrid Snow is a 6 out of 10 on this scale, making it medium firm, which works best for the average sleeper. But we also want to see how well this bed responds to movement. So using this lacrosse ball, we're going to do that. As I bounce this ball on the floor, you see it comes right back up to me. Now let's do that on the mattress surface. We can see a lot of gray air on this mattress, a lot of bounce, so this should be a great bed for combination sleepers. Now if you've been zoning out for the rest of the review, now is the time to pay rapt attention because sleeping position matters. A bed is going to perform differently based on your sleep position and body type, so think about if you spend majority of the night on your side, back, or stomach as you move through this section. Now side sleepers are like anyone who's imagined sleeping on a cloud. You make up majority of the population. All they need is a mattress that relieves pressure from the hips and shoulders and keeps the spine aligned. Now, the snow mattress keeps the spine aligned really nice and relieves pressure really well for the average to heavyweight side sleeper. However, lightweight side sleepers may have some pressure issues on this mattress. Now, back sleepers are like me after a long, hard day of taking care of my town in Animal Crossing. They can sleep well on almost any surface. All they need is a mattress that keeps the natural S-curve of their spine maintained, and the snow mattress does that for all body types. Now, stomach sleepers, like me, just need a mattress that keeps the hips elevated and the spine aligned. And the snow does that for lightweight to average weight sleepers, but heavyweight sleepers may need a firmer mattress to keep those hips elevated. Time for the nerdiest test yet, pressure relief. Here we prefer fun and comfort over aches and pains, so I rolled out our super scientific pressure relief map, which uses heat mapping technology to indicate pressure distribution along the body. Just know that blues and greens are good and reds, oranges, and yellows are bad. Now let's take a look at my results starting on the side. We see a concentration of red and yellow in the hips and a little bit in the shoulders, so that shows that sleepers that are on the lightweight side may have some pressure issues on this bed. Now moving on to the back map, 
We see blues and greens all around. Just a little concentration of green in the hips, which is nothing to be worried about. So you should be great back sleeping on this mattress. Now I've got a test for all of you who sleep with a partner out there. Motion isolation, AKA a bed's ability to stifle motion at the source and keep it from transferring across the mattress and waking up your partner. Now to test this, I'm gonna press my hands into the mattress, mimicking the feel of tossing and turning. And you can see that the liquid in that beaker is pretty shaky. So I'm gonna test this further with this weighted ball by dropping it into the bed to simulate someone getting in and out. As I do this, you can see that there's a little bit more movement not too much, but still pretty shaky, so couples may have some issues on this mattress. Edge support in a mattress is more underrated than a nice cup of tea in the morning. I'm looking at you coffee drinkers. Now edge support in a mattress is how supportive the perimeter of your bed is, and it's great for people who have mobility issues, people who sleep near the edge of the bed, people in couples who just want some space from their partner. Now the edge support in the wave snow is pretty great. I would say it's very sturdy, 10 out of 10. Making decisions is hard, pro con lists help, so I made one for the Casper Wave Hybrid Snow. First up, the pros. This bed has the ideal medium firmness and contouring pressure relief that heavyweight side sleepers should love. Next, this bed is very responsive due to that coil support core, so if you're a combination sleeper who loves to toss and turn, you should be able to do so easily on this mattress. Finally, if you feel like you're always sleeping in the Arizona desert heat, the Casper Wave Hybrid Snow should be able to keep you cool throughout the night. Moving on to cons, this is not the best bed for heavyweight stomach sleepers because it's just not firm enough to keep the hips elevated. Next, people who sleep with a partner may not love this bed's affinity for motion transfer. And lastly, this isn't the most budget-friendly mattress we've ever tested, so if you have some issues with that, we have Casper coupons in the description below. Now that I've shown you everything the Casper Wave Hybrid Snow has to offer, I'm putting it head to head with the Sotfa Classic mattress. Now like Casper, Sotfa is a luxury hybrid mattress. They both offer great spinal alignment, work really well for combination sleepers, and have amazing edge support. But Sotfa comes in multiple firmness options and has a longer sleep trial period. But the Snow works better for people with aches and pains because it relieves pressure from your hips and shoulders better. If you want to know more about either of these mattresses in depth, go ahead and Google Mattress Nerd Casper Wave Hybrid Snow or Mattress Nerd Sofa Classic for our in-depth reviews. I'm going to go over some quick hits regarding Casper Sleep's policy so you know exactly what to expect when you buy. Now, this bed comes with an industry standard 100 night sleep trial period where you get to try out the mattress for up to 100 nights to decide if it's the best fit for you. If not, no worries, you can return it for a full refund, but if you decide to keep it, you get the industry standard 10 year warranty. Now, if you wanna know more about either of these policies in depth, go ahead and check out our written review in the description. In my hand, I have your FAQs. You ask, I answer, let's dive in. Question number one, is Casper Hybrid good for hot sleepers? Yes. Let's flash back to the construction section, shall we? <laughs> Including the cover, all six layers of this mattress are dedicated to keeping you cool. Question number two, is Casper Wave Hybrid good for side sleepers? Yes, but it depends. Now Casper's zoned support works to align the spine of side sleepers of all body types. But when it comes to pressure relief, only those heavy enough to sink into the comfort layers will reap the benefits, AKA average weight sleepers and heavyweight sleepers. Lightweight side sleepers should try out a more plush mattress such as the Nova Hybrid Snow. And finally, question number three, how much is a Casper Snow mattress? Now this is certainly a luxury mattress buy at just over $3,000 for a queen. But if this sounds outrageous to you, we have some Casper coupons in the description below. Now if I didn't get to your question this time around, go ahead and drop it in the comments for me and I'll get back to you ASAP. Friends, 
it's been so much fun, but unfortunately we've come to the end of this video, but I'll see you again in the next one. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so we can be there with you for every step of the way of your mattress buying journey. And remember, don't lose sleep over choosing a mattress. Let us nerd out and do the work for you so all you have to worry about is getting a great night's sleep. Bye. It's on your sleep position and body type, so think about if you sleep. <laughs> think about it. Just think about it. Da 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 da. Okay. Mm -hmm.